Hey guys, we're gonna play Gauntlet today, Dark Legacy, and watch this. For the PlayStation 2. In an ancient time, the evil mage Garm, using the power of the Sean, you skipped the cuts. My brother Tim, yep. and me. And this is top caliber. Uh, I hope I have something loaded. Well, yeah, I have something. Start, start with something now. Oh, all right. Since well, I guess we're doing a playthrough, what is my name? Uh, John Gold. Uh, it shall be. Uh, da, da, da. Well, usually it's Aaron Forth, but since there's a PS2 game and they limit what I can guess. Early it. PS2 game. I think that it, it even uses the blue discs that, that early PS2 games have. Do you have anything to comment, Sean? Mm -mm. Yeah, well, he hasn't even seen gameplay. I doubt play. I would ever play this. This game's awesome. So I guess we'll just go with Aaron. Yeah! America! See, that's what, that's what it used to look like in video games. That used to be edgy. Uh, now that's, that's not edgy not anymore that. now. Stupid looking. Green Knight has gained a level. You'll get that. Okay, whatever. Welcome, Green Knight. Wow, that's such a weird voice. Hey, back then, though, this was the crap. I no, mean, it this... wasn't. Yeah, you back then. You see this being the crap. That's what the evil mage garb has broken in my tower and used my rune stones to scum in the demon Scorn. Scorn broke free from Garm's control and destroyed him. Scorn has unleashed his minions upon the land and scattered rune stones across the eight realms. Now he has sealed himself in the desecrated temple. The entrance is protected by eight magical shards, each in his possession of one of Scorn's mighty guardians. Why didn't he just, you know, like, keep him with him? I mean, Anyways, you must travel to each of the Elk Realms, fight your way through Scorn's minions, and defeat his guardians. Only after obtaining all eight shards can you enter the desecrated temple and banish Scorn from, to the underworld. Scorn has sealed the entrance with magical shields. Blah, 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 blah. I have summoned you to my tower. I have summoned to my tower. No talking. Wait. Then this isn't a commentary then. No, I said no talking in the game. Uh, ah. Man, I used to play this a lot. Wow, this... What the heck is this supposed to be? Bejeweled? No, it's... Yeah. Congratulations. I will... Oh, I guess it does talk. I think, oh, same, I, this... I think this same voice actor does Mortal Kombat, you know, Fate had a team. Yeah, I think so. I've heard it before. Yeah, it's, I think it's definitely the guy. Oh, and this is my power attack. Why'd you use your... Because it recharges that real fast. Uh, this wasn't... This wasn't the be most graphically intense game back in the day. Wait. Uh, and every level has an intro, I think. This yeah. was the stuff back in the day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't play back in the day games. Well, so back then, the this was like the dead space. No, no, it wasn't. That yeah. would be Resident Evil. Uh, oh, this has better mechanics than Resident Evil. Uh, I never liked that game. You only don't... What? That, you never even played one or two. You all you played is four. They all have bad shooting mechanics. It's like with survival horror, there must be bad shooting mechanics. That's kind of one of the traits of the genre. Whenever you put good shooting mechanics in it, everyone... Well, just it. limit the ammo. We, they've tried that. It didn't work. 
Everyone can play that they had action game like things, but yeah, just because it has good shooting mechanics doesn't mean you know. Use magic to kill enemies. No, you don't use magic to kill enemies, and there's a reason uh, why you don't use magic. Well, well with one of the things is this: with Silent Hill, you know, it has an excuse story-wise, like. Well, yeah. Yeah, like in Silent Hill. But that actually too, had like. No, you're not listening. You, that actually had decent shooting mechanics. Metal Gear Solid 3? Metal Gear Solid 3 was probably the worst shooting with oh, oh, oh. Oh, those things. Oh, those things are actually that powerful. Now, there is, in this game, a thing called death. And, yeah. like, you'll open up this random box or whatever, and death will... Okay, the AIs are horrible in this game. That's some great AI right there. That was that terrible. They run into him. Running at the, the wall, wall, expecting, expecting to go through it. So, did, you didn't see that. And this yeah. is actually a better story than Call of Duty. Now, yeah, I, I, I wholeheartedly agree with you on that. You know, this is kind of your classic arcade game. I yeah, mean. it is. I, I, I think I've seen a Gauntlet Dark Legacy arcade machine before. I it only once. This... Yeah, Gauntlet's traditionally an arcade game that was ported to the home console. And it actually is a good port, because you kind of have these bad ports from arcades, and it's just not a good full game. Uh, like, uh, Double Dragon 2. Yeah, and then this game actually felt like a pretty good game. I remember when I got this... And it actually scared me back in the day. Well, as a little kid, of course it would. Wizard of Oz scared me when I was a kid. Past the Mill was a well-guarded vault. These days, you just look, look at the Wizard of Oz as a political, as political movie. No. Yeah, it is, actually. Look, it is, and it's like, okay. No, it's, it's actually a political movie. Yeah, it actually is. Not to me. Uh, back in the day. Why do people take movies so seriously? Uh, well, back in the day, they were actually... He, he actually it, was, it was intended to be a political movie. I know, but I like to just enjoy movies. If I take it too seriously, I'm not going to like it. Well, then you must love Michael Bay, then. What's that? Michael Bay. Transformers? Transformers sucks. Well, uh, then I don't know what is wrong with you. You don't know what is, or you do know what it is? I don't. Yeah, Transformers sucks. Uh, oh, here's so how are you supposed to know where you're going? Uh, well, you just use your turbo now. There you go. Well, see, you kind of wander around until you get past. I mean, there's no arrow. And there are the mini guardians. Oh, God. I don't know how to block. Said learn. Oh, okay. R2. Well, I've never used it, sure. <laughs> yeah, I've never used it either. Or at least I don't remember who is it. Did we ever beat this game? I think our mom did. But that was it. Uh, I remember always getting stuck at the lake. Hey, look, you got the fruit achievement. No, I was... Uh, <laughs> I was able this to... was before achievements. I remember before... I remember, I remember defeating the Lich and then coming back to this game, I think a year ago, and not being able to defeat the Lich. And I was like, what's wrong with him? Ooh, rune stone. Rune stones, you need rune stones to get to the final level. Like, not beating the boss, but there is like this final carnival type clown skeleton crap. Oh yeah, speaking of, you know, old arcade games, scary arcade games, was, uh, I remember, uh, at the bowling alley once, there's the, there was this, uh, shoot, it, it was like a time crap, it was like- Meat gives more health, take that, PETA, and vegetarians <laughs> everywhere, meat gives more health, back Where, in the day. Where's my got, where's my gauntlet dark legacy, uh, PETA flash game? Yeah. Or vegetables, give you. And you stomp on all the worms. Uh, that's bad for I you. I thought gas masks would protect against it. No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, you know that now. It's like saying, I, I thought the gas mask would protect against, you know, uh, rat poison. 
You can actually hurt yourself in fire. Yeah, then you, you don't say. Oh, and it'd have these weird power-ups, like this will fly yeah, over. Teach, teach the kids of the game, you can't hurt yourself in fire. Go ahead and jump down. Uh, See, this game would actually teach you life skills. Yeah. Fires hurt. Yeah, because every and, kid and, and, and birds want to, to help you destroy destroy the evils of everything. And yeah, birds are good. Yeah, birds, yeah. golden birds are good. You find a golden bird in a barrel, kid, it will fover over you, flying fireballs. Yeah, that, that's what that's what birds and barrels do. Actually, the lich will actually spawn these out of his chest. These worms? They aren't any problem. No, they aren't. So, at any point, does this game actually get hard? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, it gets hard. This is just this, teaching you. Yeah, this is like the easy, you know, we're going to teach you how to control in case you've never played a game ever. <laughs> There's uh, no difficulty level, it just... But, but it's, one of the things that's been known for Gauntlet is it's uh, multiplayer. Oh yeah, two people could play at once. Uh, and I think and I think it had an uh, option for four players. I, yeah, it did. You could multi-tap it. Or if you had the GameCube or Xbox, you could just, uh, you know, hook in another control. You never got why they didn't... Yeah, I never got why. Because all the other consoles at the, uh, at the time, you know, supported four controllers, except for the PlayStation 2. The... GameCube supported it, the Xbox supported it, even the Dreamcast supported it. But not the PS2, no. We're, we're, we're going to be different in a bad way. Oh. What? I haven't seen that little thing. What? Sometimes you'll open them up and they'll be bombs. Yeah. Like a little jack-in-the-box bomb thing. You know, hopefully we can finish this now that I'm actually doing a playthrough. I'll actually finish it. Because I think I finished it once, but never finished when I was, like, little. I remember this game. I love this game. Oh, yeah, what did you have during, you know? Yeah, Sean, what did you have when you were little? Yeah, I, I didn't. What do you mean? I didn't do video games. Before. Not even computer? Nope, none. Really? G GameCube? Nothing. Xbox? Nothing. PS2? Dreamcast? Nothing at all. GameCube? It was all I mean, not, not GameCube. Game Boy Advance? In Engage? Back in the day, it was all outdoor for me, so yeah. Oh. This is why I think these older games are all stupid, you know? Because you I have no nostalgia for because, them. Because I don't feel like, oh yeah, this was that thing I used to play in the old days. Like, oh look, this is that thing that's not very good at all. But since y'all liked it in the old days, I like it now, so. Yeah, nostalgia. Yeah, nos nostalgia will do that. Yeah, well, that doesn't do anything. You give me a lightsaber and let me go outside and the neighborhood kids all go nuts. Wow, that actually sounded horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be kids up. <laughs> no, I, I mean... No, no, it sounds wrong in a different way. <laughs> oh, I'm Check getting... Check the other out. No. <laughs> <laughs> It does talk, I was so wrong. <gasps> Gold Dragon Tooth, holy crap. Gold Ingot, not a Dragon Tooth. Totally different, even though in the, they're in the same shape. No, it said Dragon, I remember. No, it said Gold Ingot. Oh. Let's see, it's kind of hard to aim with this, I mean. They need to make a new gauntlet. They do. At PSN XB, XBLA. It'd be like Wii. Skyrim, but with Skyrim, but with uh. No, it'd be just like this game, except better graphics. Hmm. I wonder if anybody ever makes remakes of these things. Yeah, they do. Like on uh, the computer. But... No, no. There's like uh, there's this old game uh for the NES called DuckTales. And it was really good for, by Capcom. And somebody's actually making a remake for PlayStation Network. Wait, can you not jump, Chris? No. No, no oh. jump. <laughs> no, jump. Jumping in top. Oh, yeah. I like, uh. Because you could avoid the traps that way, and that's not how this game. Uh. <laughs> I like how in mid thing there you can. 
and your life will wear down. I mean, I know it seems like there's like no wear down in life, but you'll oh, get geez. to a point where you get kind of stuck because you don't have enough life. The path ahead is laden with traps for the greedy. So everybody knows what that means. I mean, it'll give you little clues, and then as, Sometimes. You, as you go along, it will give you Sweet nutrients. it will give you more complicated Sweet nutrients. clues. Like all that means is if you collect treasure, work out for the traps. But they'll start to get more and more obscure. Really? I, yeah, they'll I get... actually don't remember much from this game except having lots of fun. And if I you... think I played it more than you. Yeah, honestly. you did because I think the PS2 was in your room. Yeah, I played it more than you. Oh, see? The Jack in the Box. You don't say. I like how it says that after the fact. Like, if you actually stood around and I'm like, what's this? Some chest may but you don't say. I thought you were supposed to be helping me, bro. I mean, I, I is, thought there a lag, but is there lag in the underworld? Uh, do you use AOL? Or in oh, look, another... Oh, death. Oh, is, was there death? That wasn't death. Oh, uh, it looks like death. I know it does, but he's just a reaper. Uh, oh, yeah, he's not dead. No. Death is a lot more scary when you don't have potions, because then you just start running from it. Yeah, I, I went through this first level a couple days ago, and uh, I came to and I was like, well, what's it going on? And I was like, oh, oh, this is not going in well. Let's the box. Do not pass through this gate until you find two switches. And I already found the first one. Man, that looks hard. That's a portal. This well, it gets more no, it's like in when I go when I go through in the. Uh, Explosions destroy So that could have been anything. That could have been. But it was a learning. That could have been the runes. That could have been one of the rune stones. That oh, I accidentally used the key on the chest. No, no. No, what would have been funny is this. Oh, okay, it gave me, it was like, if you're too stupid. No, no, what would have been funny? Oh, and at post-level, because we're about to reach the end, post-level, you can buy health potions and upgrades. Oh, shit. You no. can buy health potions and upgrades and keys and such. And the bosses do get harder. See, treasure. You can use treasure to buy... Uh, I remember... Uh, well, you know what would have been a really harsh move on the developers? Definitely. Is, you know that bomb thing next to the... Uh, oh, death awaits those who try to pass. So we're about to go get death. Uh, you know the, that bomb thing back there next to the chest? I'd have... If I was designing a game, I would have one of them be like a rune stone. I and then it's like, you can't complete the game because you've destroyed the rune so stone. So it gave me a potion here, and that is death. Yeah, that's... So if you ever see that, sometimes he'll come out of chest. Oh, no, no. If you activate that switch, he, it will do it. See? And then you just press circle. Because potions... Potions should be conserved. Because death will come. You open up a chest, there could be death. You do a switch, there could be death hidden somewhere. So conserve your potions and only use them when you really need to. And these are really short levels, but there's a lot of them. It's a grinder game. We'll do some other episodes. All right. See you guys. Hope you join us again next time. And there might not have been an ending on the last episode because we do this in one recording session. So, yes. yeah. so All right. Bye, everybody. Guys.